Hey guys, how's y'all doing? <laughs> how's you all doing? What? <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's iPod apps everywhere. Um, if you're if you're a fan of me on Facebook or Twitter, you'll know that I actually stayed home from school today because I'm feeling kind of sick, just kind of a bummer. Oh well. So I decided to do an app review since I'm not going out with my friends tonight. So you know, stay home, do an app review. It's all good. So here we go, Trenches. Um, you can check this one out on the App Store right now. So let's get into it. It's called Trenches. You have a campaign mode and you have skirmish mode. So cool. In the campaign mode, you can start a new game or continue. And oh, by the way, this is Open Fiend connected, and so there are achievements that you can uh, you can achieve, and they are very very fun to get, and it gives you more of incentive to come back and play this game. Um, so in the campaign mode, it's very simple. You progress through the levels. There's no storyline whatsoever. You just kind of kill the the loser Nazi German people. Um, I like the German people. I hate Nazis because they killed Jews and Jews were awesome. At the end of the campaign, um, it's extremely short. The campaign, I beat it in about, I want to say, 20 minutes, 10 minutes maybe? Max, 10 minutes. But I think they did on purpose because once you complete the campaign, you will unlock a new game type in Skirmish called Zombie Horde. And it is ridiculously fun. So let's start a new game. You can change the game types. Let's start with the regular battles just so I can show you what it's all about. You can go to select the map, select the difficulty. The AI is extremely well done in this game as well. They like retreat, they attack, they sprint, they, you know, they rush you and all that cool stuff. Um, this is your game screen. Up here you have your score. You get a higher score by killing more enemies. Up here is your money. Um, that just increases by itself. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to kill enemies to get money. That just goes up by itself. Down here is the game battlefield where all the... The battles, the battles and explosions happen and all the cool stuff. You have the scenery back there, very, very nicely done. The graphics in this game are also extremely nicely done. The characters are goofy looking. They're so fun to mess around with. Um, and the sound effects are also really, really cool. Um, down here you have your bar where you're, you can choose troops to spawn. Let me choose a rifleman real quick. And you see that, that the bar starts reloading. That's how long you have to wait until you can spawn another one. The costs are above them. I don't think you can see them, but the autofocus is so bad on this camera. I don't want to make it use to look at them. Oh, there you go. You can see that one costs 100, and now I'm down to 600. Just kind of cool. You have a simple pause menu. Nothing special there. Let's go in that. If focused, you have just a continue and a main menu. Very simple. So, whole point of the game is to get from your side where I just spawned my troops. You saw that they're coming in from the left side. And to, your whole point is to get past these loser Germans, German Nazis, my bad, not Germans, Germans rock, Nazis don't, um, and past this, a certain section on this map on their side, and that will complete the level for you, and you would have beaten the game. Well, this match, specifically. Um, so to do that, your whole point is to spawn troops. Keep on spawning them. Um, you have like a mortar, a machine gun, a sniper, and a rifleman. Now, to control these little dudes, what you can do is tap them and just drag them around. You see that kind of like dotted lines, kind of like flight control. You can make them go in circles or make them go like, oh, they're in a skirmish. Let me respawn a new people. Here we go. So you can make them go in a circle, blah, blah, blah. Very, very cool. One of the really cool aspects of this is if these troops don't die and, they could, um, and you keep them in good, you know, good cover and do that, you see here that they just ranked up to a first class. Now that increases the damage of the dude it does, or the damage that they do to other people, and that increases the speed at which they walk, which is kind of a key thing to do because, you know, here you're trying to get to another trench as fast as possible. Um, the enemy AI, like I said before, is extremely intelligent. Let's go back into Skirmish and show you what makes this game really, really tick. Zombie Horde. You can change the level. Let's go into long. That one. Let's increase the number of trenches. Gonna do seven there. Let's play now. This game is this is this zombie horde mode is ridiculous. Um, it gets so intense the, the game actually starts to lag once you get past a hundred zombies. That's once you get past you know killing a hundred zombies, which is ridiculous because they start streaming at you and you start to have like thirty of these guys in one trench just constantly firing off a billion bullets and it soon becomes this huge massive blood fest and it is ridiculous. Um, let me try to show you what, how ridiculous this thing can get in my tiny little, tiny little game section, gameplay section, right here. Okay, guys. So really quick, here it is. I've gotten kind of far. I'm only at 74. I've gotten to 200 zombies, but you can see how insane this starts to get. Soon your troops become like the maxed out level, and they start doing the max damage and all that stuff they can do. Um, but soon you see a billion zombies just streaming on you, and this is what is making me constantly come back to this application. This is so entertaining. Not, not even mentioning how awesome the game looks, how awesome the art style is, how awesome the sound effects, and how awesome the um, details and control scheme is. This zombie mode really, really rocks. And in the next update, they promised more guns, more troops, more game types, 
and a lot of more like a longer campaign, which is definitely worth you know, the one ninety nine I've paid for this app. So you can see here that they start, they're starting to come at me like hell. I have like 30 guys in that trench. They're all trying to, f oh, and they completely died. So it becomes extremely, extremely fun. Um, the customization you have, you're, you're able to do with the maps and the amount of players and like the difficulties, the amount of trenches, and are just going to keep you, are going to make you want to come back to this app almost every day for a quick little zombie fix like you see, can see here. Um, it's extremely fun. Let me, let me get rid of this guys real quick. And I definitely recommend this application. This is a great start to a new year. This app is ridiculous. I'm going to go play it right now. The zombie mode is really, really awesome. I'll see you guys around outside. Have an awesome weekend. Peace out.